You're going to get one word. And once we say that word, we're going to just cut the podcast off and you're just going to Well, that's all we owe them. And then everything else, like, you're welcome. We went uh, above and beyond. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Arthur Dent. Arthur Dent. And this here is Frank and we are back enjoying the week and uh we had a good weekend mm-hmm. spent it outside it was a hot one barbecue we went to a little barbecue my favorite uh hot dogs and hamburgers and all that i mean i love me some I'm, it was I, a pre-memorial day barbecue I, I used to be a real big burger guy burger like at the old barbecue i'm going burger for now it's the hot dog for me really I'll I'll smash four hot dogs. I love hot before dogs. Before I go to the one burger. I and I I, I used to be um, alone, so I'm glad I have a partner now. Yeah, I don't do the boiled hot dogs though. Um, no, I prefer the grilled ones. Yeah, yeah. I like them real black. Mm-hmm. Like I want them like borderline. Someone might like pass up on it because they say hey, you think you burn that. Yeah, and then I go ketchup. Because they get kind of dehydrated when you burn them like that. But yeah, and then I I go ketchup on my hot dogs. Ketchup, mustard, and raw onion. Oh, you just slap it on there. Diced onion. Not, I'll tell you what. Not um strips or anything. I don't do the mustard. I don't do the relish. I could mess up a chili cheese dog, though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I like I guess that. that could be like a boiled hot dog. Yeah. Not, bo- I see, not boiled, because I don't really boil hot dogs. I'm thinking like uh, on the little turnstiles at like oh, like a baseball. Yeah, yeah 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> There's some chili and cheese on that. Oh, I remember one time in like home ec class, you could make whatever you wanted. It was like uh, everyone, like each group. And I was like, I, I muscled my, strong armed my group into making chili cheese dogs. I said, I don't care if you guys want to make chili angel cheese. food mm. cake. I think I like cheese dogs and I think I like chili dogs, but I don't think, I don't, I don't, that's a, so much going on. Chili cheese. Chili cheese dogs. Mmm. Uh, I could go for a chili cheese dog right now, I'll tell you that much. Well, I'd have to get a non... Obviously, I have to get a non-gluten hot dog roll, which is okay. The okay. hard part is to get um, imitation meat that doesn't have gluten in it. Well, the one thing I would say, though, is probably harder, though, because gluten-free bread, as you guys know, or probably not, as you pro- maybe know, it the, it breaks apart it's easy. very breaky, yeah. Now, that's fine if you're eating a hot dog, but chili cheese dog... You need you need your bread yeah. working overtime. You know, literally, I, sometimes I have imagina- imagination hot dogs, and I'm not kidding right now. What does that even mean? <laughs> like you you just have. What? I take a gluten free, um, a gluten free hot dog bun, and I put the fixins. Um, without the hot dog. Without because because I can't find a meatless, gluten free hot dog that I'll I'll. The thing pre- about it is hot dogs are probably meatless am i right who knows what's in there well it's a meat byproduct so i have imagination hot dogs where you know like when you're eating a hot dog and um sometimes the very last piece doesn't have any more hot dog left in it it's just yeah. like yeah you know, so I, I it's i just i just think like that like oh like i'm not yeah kidding. i don't do it very often but no. I've done it. <laughs> all right well now that we're confessing oh, remember sonic they had like the different types of hot dogs they had like the chicago style yeah I love that one. That had the, that had the pickle, I think. Okay, I think yeah. that I think I've had a chili cheese dog from Sonic. That's probably yeah. where I've had my last chili cheese dog. Honestly, right. it's been a while. But um, what was I gonna say? I've I've done the imitation before, mm-hmm. only with tacos because I'd run out of meat in oh, my taco. Right. Taco, yeah. so I would just I still had the oh, shell. Not the imitation. You mean the imagination? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, imagination yeah, not imitation. taco. Yeah. yeah imagination yeah. taco. So I would just build it up right and just without the meat maybe sometimes if i was feeling crazy i would even <laughs> sprinkle some taco seasoning in it perfect once there's all the other stuff it's like <laughs> wow it's the same thing yeah but yeah um guys it, what it's may 25th yep. wow i think i have to pay my credit card bill today oh no what you didn't do it yet no it was just one of those things like i don't need to pay it or i owe money i thought yeah it was like a deadline no, it is a deadline. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but no, what I mean is it's not like I'm l- I'm late on my bills if I don't pay. It's like you uh I don't know how credit cards work. No, I'm just kidding. It's like 
I keep up with it. Like okay. I, 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 and so if I don't pay it today, I owe zero dollars today. Mm-hmm. But it's the end of the cycle. Mm-hmm. So if I don't pay it off, it'll be okay. That's fine. And then that's when they give the interest on it for oh, the next. No. Like I, I would owe a minimum balance next yeah. month. Right. But if I pay it by today, then I'll owe nothing, and I'll just have basically used it like a debit card. Good. Yeah, build your credit. How about that? <laughs> build your credit day. It's ta- National Build Your Credit it's Day. It's Towel Day. It's Wine Day. Wine and towels. Do they go together? Yeah, spill some wine, some red wine. And you, I think, what is? What do you use? Club soda and salt. I thought it was pee. No. <laughs> is that a jellyfish thing. I don't even think that's real. Uh, you know what? Here's the thing about it. I've heard so many backwards reports on it. Mm-hmm. Like I've heard like on infographics.com. They say that's not real. Yeah. But then you see like Australian lifeguards still swearing about it. And I'm like, who am I going to trust? Infographics behind your computer? Where are you finding Australian hot <laughs> dogs? Where are you finding Australian lifeguards that I don't even want to say this on our podcast. They want to pee on you. <laughs> well, it was in behind a dumpster. Yeah. In with... Philadelphia. I don't even know what yeah. is going on right now. Yeah. He pinched my arm and said, it's... jellyfish sting. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> That's code word. It is crazy. We're getting out of, off, you know, way out of the, the line. Yeah. It's towel day. Happy towel day. Thank you. Um, so the reason, the reason I was Arthur Dent is because. Of Can the... I be Harvey Dent? Who's that? from batman i think he turns into two-face really yeah arthur dent so or no yeah maybe i'm not a really big superhero guy <laughs> you're not no i know you're not but i mean you know probably all I'm a pop culture the main, guy but you probably know all the main plots and characters and stuff like that like i haven't seen any like the new batman or anything no there's a new top gun is that what you told me top gun yeah, i know Maverick. that's not a, i know that's not a superhero but it's a Tom Cruise is a real life superhero. It's a popular song. So show movie late podcast make me nuts. Towel day. Yeah, uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Do you know it? The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. Super famous. Um, it's sci-fi. Actually, yeah. Wait, that's the that's like that's the movie that starts with like the dolphins flying away. Thank you. No, thank you for, and for all the fish. Yeah. I don't think so. Mm. I know what you're talking about, though. Oh, well, this will be in for, for post-editing, right? <laughs> but The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, very famous and um, and very popular. I think it came from England originally, like, in the 70s. But then, like, <clears throat> it's a sci-fi world. And yeah. there's books and there's movies and cartoons and, and it goes on and on. And people are really... So um, the author, I think died um on may 11th my birthday i know uh may 11th um 2001 and i was five so he died at that time so two weeks later so a towel features prominently in the novel towels okay and so his fans and people were like, we're going to carry a towel on that day. Oh. And it'll be like, you know, if you know, you know. And they still do it. I-Y-K-Y-K. If you know, you know. So in the book, you know, you're you're usually the reader. But I'll read a little bit today. Um, so a t- in this book, it says, a towel is the most massively useful thing an interstellar hitchhiker can have. Uh, you can wrap it around you for warmth as you bound across the cold moons. So like it's it's like it's like something you would understand, but also it's everything it's gonna to refer to is planets and yeah. and stars and galaxy. You can wrap it around you for warmth. And then like this isn't how it's written. I'm like scrolling down. You can lie on it and on the brilliant marble sanded beaches of this planet. Um, you can sleep under it beneath the stars, which shines. Da, da, da. You can wet it for use in hand to can- hand combat. You can wrap it around your head to ward off noxious fumes or avoid the gaze of the ravenous bug bladder beasts of trawl um you can um use it as a distress signal and but this part is that more importantly a towel has immense psychological value um if so it, you're a hitchhiker right i guess in this 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 story actually i want to read it now that i'm reading this but <laughs> um so and if you run into a, like I don't know, other aliens or something, they will automatically assume that you, if you have a towel, you must also have a toothbrush, a face flannel, a soap, a tin of biscuits, a flask, a compass, mat, ball of string, gnat spray, wet weather gear, da 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 da. And I think it means like, um, 
if you have the towel, they're going to assume you have everything. You're prepared. So if they say, for, so so you can say to them like, oh, do you have any extra um, toothpaste or something? Uh, and they won't feel that you're a complete vagrant. Yeah. Um, they'll be like, well, here's a towel. Here's luxuries. Right. So, so it's just, you're one of us. It's just normal. So, so, you know, it's just this funny thing and it's um, super purposeful to hitchhike the galaxy. So today's towel day commemorating the book. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Happy towel day. Thank you. I tip my towel to you. Yes. Throw in the towel if you want to quit. Yep. Boxing. Is, is that boxing? Okay. Yeah. The uh the side man. What is what's it called? The corner? Corner, the corner man. Corner guy, yeah. The corner man. Um will throw in the towel if he's like stop because you know, when you're in there boxing, you can be all concussed. Yeah. You might you see some of these MMA guys, like they'll go till death. Like they Yeah, because when <sighs> you're training, your training is just to keep going until they call you out, you know. Yeah. Until they And so you'll you'll have like the referees do it a lot, especially nowadays, like mm-hmm. It's the referees are very good at being like this is getting monitoring out of hand. the situation, right? Stop. But sometimes if the corner man's like, my person is going to get injured, they'll throw in the towel and that's calling the fight, right? And then you'll see the the boxer be like, "What are you doing? I could have still went." It's like you have CTE, sir. <laughs> what is that concussion? CTE is like what the football players get oh. after a lot of concussions. Oh no, like brain damage. Yeah, Aww. it's like that whole movie with wah, Will wah. Smith. Will Smith. Sorry, for bringing <laughs> he who must not be named up. Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. Uh, what was it, Doctor Something? Ali. No. <laughs> was it Will Smith? Am I going crazy? I don't know. This movie about the like that whole NFL scandal. The NFL. Look at me. I'm thinking you're still talking about boxing. No. Will Smith th- is in a movie about the NFL? Yeah, where the NFL was covering up all of the CTE of the players. Sounds like a depressing movie, and that's probably why I didn't watch it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I didn't watch it either. I haven't watched that. a lot of the Will Smith movies that I wanted to watch. Maybe I'm silently boycotting them because I, 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 the three movies I wanted to watch. Boycotting them in advance? Well, yeah. I, I, I had a feeling, a sneaking <laughs> yeah. suspicion was that one, the NFL one, Ollie, and um, the tennis. King Richards. Mm-hmm. They're all kind of similar movies. King aren't Richard, they? why they're all sports, yeah. Well, this is like an older guy who made waves. <laughs> okay all right guys it is may 25th it is wednesday it is a uh, late night um on wednesday we have a little thing called one word wednesday one word wednesday no matter what time of day on wednesday it's you're gonna get one word from us you're gonna get one word and once we say that word we're gonna just cut the podcast off and you're just gonna think well that's all it. we owe them and then everything else like you're welcome we went uh, above and beyond yeah but literally your daily bread yeah a word everything else is dessert right so if you you know tune in find out what the word is and then we're done but then if you want to hang around we're going to talk about the word oh yeah okay so that's basically it we'll give you a word stick around maybe we'll talk about it maybe give you some spiritual significance right so what is the word today towel towel which i'm which i'm forcing myself to say You want to say tail? Freakazoid. Tail. Yeah, I want to say tail because that's my that's my um my my natural s- <clears throat> setting. You know what? I was just tail. thinking about this today, and um, you know what? I really rubs me the wrong way. No, and I don't know why, and it shouldn't. But the towels that don't absorb any water. Okay, well, <laughs> don't even get me started. No, I was still talking about pronunciation. Okay. I can't stand. I um, let me try to phrase this right. I think like accents and, and regional dialects have gotten gotten a little uh, je ne sais quoi corny. Okay. Before everyone was separated. Right. And so you would talk the same as everyone around you. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even have any self awareness about it. That's what bothers me is the self awareness. Yeah. Because like accents will happen. It's not like everyone just speak the same. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, but like the very self awareness and what what I'm getting to is this final thing. I was on Facebook today and it was like an Eagles uh, fan page or something along these lines. Yeah. But the, the, like some, the name of it was spelled out Eagles. Okay. Like, you know, like... I-G-G-L-E-S. I-G-G-L-E-S. Yeah, and I'm like, that's so corny. Like... Well, was that the name of the sh- of the channel or something? No, it was they just were like... Just they were just like it. saying... No, I know, it. I know. And, and 
I don't mean to like get down on it, but it's like I feel like it's one thing of like hearing someone say it in a certain way, and it's like, yeah. oh, that's how they say it around there. But it's like to spell it out, it's like so you are making it so obvious that like I'm so self aware of saying it, saying it like a true Philadelphian. I know. And it's like just be but normal. They're proud of it, and it's like you don't pronounce it. Like you pronounce E A G L E S like Eagles, and you don't print. You're not. It's not changing the name of it. Right. Like, are you gonna start spelling like uh, W O O D E R? You know, for like. That's the thing. Okay. Now I don't want to be mean to anybody. So like, I, I think do. it's fine. They're very proud of. We talked about this before. They're very. They're very proud of like only in Philadelphia. You know, it's like yeah. no, it's not actually. It happens everywhere. Yeah. Um, people are proud and they want to do that. The first time I noticed what you're talking about was in Trinidad or not even in Trinidad if I was in America, but I was looking at something Trinidadian or like even um, comments on a, on, a, on a Trinidadian post or something. So <clears throat> in Trinidad is very um, literate. They're very literate. They're very um, – they have a very high – like very high um, – for 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 a whole country r- reading ability like yeah. we talked the other day I, we were talking about um an adult could have to learn how to read one fish two fish um so they they're very they can read and they can write um higher than <laughs> other than other places and, yeah you know, especially in like yeah, this socioeconomic right so they, they can read and write very well and when they read they read with an accent because they have an accent, yeah. right? So they pronounce, you can tell if someone's from Trinidad, they're pronouncing yeah. things the way they pronounce it and it's beautiful and it's fine. Um, but like I said, when they write, they they are very good spellers yes. and, they, and they spell, um, they speak English. So they're writing in, and reading in English with an accent. When I first started to notice it here, they would be writing, taking their time to phonetically write how their accent would sound on paper yeah and i just felt it i felt it was like it was just a bit so contrived it's, yeah it's because yeah. like so my father he still barely says his ths right he'll say yeah uh, for think is that like, tink yeah the word he's saying no matter how he's pronouncing right. it he'll always spell it t-h-i-n-k right. and, and to like go and rewrite it based on how you're yeah. saying it it's yeah. like i don't know and and it, especially i feel like just with like I think today because it was like it was so regional. Like I want you to know that this is how I say yeah. it. It's like how about you just yeah. be authentic with authenticity? Yeah. And like I don't know, but like, I get it. Like, it, it, but I think that's sort of what. How do I put this? I'm fine with it, but I'm just be. I'm I'm okay. Okay. I'm fr- okay. No. I feel like it's just becoming very gimmicky. I feel like it, that's a good word accent, for it. The accent is becoming very. That's gimmicky. a good word for it. And it's like, yeah, it's more about this is like it's you're plastering it up. Right. Where before, nineteen eighty South Philly firefighter is not like, right? Hey guys, I say Eagles. Like it's right. just how he talked. He, yeah. he didn't care. Right. <clears throat> right. So I I don't try to put on an accent. Um, I don't, and I don't, also don't try to. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. I don't try to put on an accent, meaning I don't try to put on a Philadelphia accent, and I also don't try to put on a broadcaster's, a yeah, broadcaster's accent. accent where I'm making sure. Because how can you talk fluidly and let your let your thoughts flow and everything if you are so aware of like the correct way yeah. to pronounce things? Um, as for the word towel, T O W E L. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I do naturally say tail, mm-hmm. um, beach tail, bath tail, like Fox this. Foxtail. What? Foxtail. No, that is a tail. That was a joke. <laughs> oh. But um, speaking of a fox, um, we, me and Preston found a big broken goose egg in the yard today. Uh, it looked like scrambled eggs inside it. The, uh, the, the sun had actually cooked, oh, cooked it. Cooked it. Should have took a bite. Cooked it, right? But we were just wondering, like, wh- how did this get here? And then... Um, he was thinking like a bird dropped it and it was big. Goose eggs are big. And I Why thought, a hawk? It, no, I, maybe, I don't know. It was his hand and his little claws, yeah, little claws. They, they, they pull up, they lift rabbits and he dropped it. Okay. Cause I was thinking more like maybe a fox. They've dropped snakes up. before around here. Snakes. Yeah. Ew. There was a snake in the front yard and talon marks in it. All right. Must have dropped so I'm it. just going to move on from how I pronounce tail and who cares? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but we can find towels. Towel in the bowel. In the Bible, 
it, probably if you go through different translations, you, you might find it or not find it. But all, all I know is that in BibleGateway.com. Hey, Bible Gateway. Been a while. It hasn't been a while. We use it every single solitary day for the um, Instagram polls, which go on there and check it out. Check it out. Will it's you? Third round. <laughs> it's getting good. <laughs> it's getting yeah. This is this week is um, best out of eight, which means oh wow, right? Which means this is the elite eight. Yeah. So we're gonna. It's the semifinals this Sunday. Yeah, we, we'll have. We came out of the Sweet Sixteen. Now we're in the Elite Eight. Yeah. So um. In this, in the new international version, if you put in the word towel, you'll get just John 13, John, th- book of John, chapter 13, verses four and five. And the story is the story of Jesus washing the feet of the apostles. Mm. So Jesus has a towel around him, takes it off. And that is what he uses. Um, interesting. Now that I'm thinking Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, that would have been a little, we could have made a connection there. If Jesus was walking around with a towel around oh. him, and now this is saying, you know, the best thing to hitchhike with is a towel because it's so useful. But anyway, so tell them the story of Jesus washing the feet of the apostles. <clears throat> so Jesus washed the feet of the apostles, and um, he dried them off with a towel. <laughs> there is a there is a uh, holiday holiday a feast day a remembrance day in the Catholic Church where. You'll even the Pope actually will wash, yeah, because they commemorate this time, um, where Jesus washed the feet of the apostles. He reenacts it, the Pope and other priests do it, you know, and I guess in their churches and stuff. Um, and well, it, I like how you say that because, like, you know, sometimes lest we forget the significance of it, because you're like, like the Pope does, like, yeah, the Pope, Pope Francis, yeah, like, washes. Jesus, like Jesus did it, but the Pope. Doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of like well, wrong yeah, there. But, but no, but it's you know because like the Pope is a real figure. No. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus was a real figure. Pope <laughs> is currently alive. We see him walking right. around. We see all of the the. He is doing. next to presidents and prime ministers, and they're not washing people's feet. Yeah, <laughs> and and so it is like I think that's why you do it every year. It's like just this. Can you imagine? And that's what was so significant about it. Where. And that's what his disciples were like. We would wash your feet, right? And he was like, "No, like," and it was just, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, what?" Yeah, it was. It was a little more, um, like it's very odd to do it now because we wear socks and shoes, yeah, that are buckled and, and tied, and and we take showers in houses, yeah. and so it's odd. At the obviously at the time, the Bible story is happening. People are walking around on sandy ground, yes. with sandals, yeah. Hence the name sandals. <laughs> um, and so you you would get your feet rinsed off or washed but, off. By and, usually like a servant but, or but, something. By a servant yeah. or by yourself, I'm guessing. If You might even be rich if you had a servant. Yeah. Um, so for Jesus to um, to do this and um, yeah, we could do a walkthrough Thursday to really get into the story and, and so forth. But that would be your spiritual significance. It's in the Bible. Um, and it, although it wasn't a towel, it was a cloth. Just thinking of the idea of a towel, it does make me think of the um, crucifixion story mm. when um, the cloth on the oh, face was yeah. because it was drying off like the sweat or the, the blood. Uh, and that was Veronica who, who, or was it a wet cloth to drink water? No, you're thinking of two different stories. So the, Veronica, as he's walking through the streets and and struggling with the cross, she wipes his face yes. and his imprint comes yes. onto it. But uh, the cloth on the end of the spear is when yes. when they put liquid in his mouth. But um, we, we glossed over the non-absorbent towels. Why are, Why are they made? They're cheap. They're, they're, I, I think, <laughs> like, is, I th- is it just like spooled plastic? Like, you know, when they can make the plastic really thin? Because it's terrible. The only thing that, like, I'll take it for is a beach towel. Yeah. To lay down on. But it still feels terrible. It doesn't feel great. But even worse than your body having to experience a non-absorbent um, towel is a dish towel. I want to break the plate when I take a non-absorbent. And you're, and you're just rubbing. And you're just like, you're just pushing the water around. Yeah. On It's the most useless thing in the whole entire world. Uh, yeah. No. Um. 
n- the non-absorbent towel. You ever uh, sometimes like I'm rushing to take a shower and the only thing will be there is that. And I get out of the shower and I'm like, you know what? Like I'm just gonna go outside in my birthday suit and air dry because it is not only not <laughs> useful, it's worse. And it's that's like, what I'll tell the officers when they arrive. <laughs> sir, feel this towel. It's like sir, put pants on. Um. <laughs> It's worse than not useful. It makes things worse, I feel like. It does, no, it, that's what's happened with the dishes. Uh, that's what happens with the dishes. Uh, 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 it's it made awful. it worse than nothing. It's if you worse. have nothing, like you said, you're like, oh, well, I'll have to let I'll the... Grab, I'll grab a, a, a t-shirt and, I'll have to and, and let the, dry off after. Yeah, I'll have to let the, the dish air dry. And on the opposite end of the spectrum is the super absorbent towels, which, um, but they're so thick. Uh, I saw that. I love those. No, you only love those if you have someone else doing your laundry. Because to put those, ta- like the towel is very, very thick and, and heavy. Yeah. And absorbent and, and giant. And nice but and comforting and lovely. It's It takes forever to dry in the dryer. Just, oh. just to let you know. Well, what are you sitting by the dryer waiting for it? No, it goes through the cycle. And when you go to pick, take Same, it out, it's, it's still wet. Two, you got to take two trips over to the dryer. No. I need Start. A- Come back later. Yeah. Start. I need it right in between. I need, I need um, it to be not the terrible thin. The terrible towel. Not the terrible towel, that's and not the, the super uh, absorbent towel. That's the thing. You know? At the barbecue, actually, um, we were talking about hand dryers because there's a hand dryer community. Um, automatic hand dryers in a public restroom. Yeah. There's a community on 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 YouTube, uh, where people you video it you know and it's like oh like you find an old because t- there's different types and there's there's automatic there's kind of you push the button clink clank um and so we were talking about that and uh someone at the barbecue was like you know what's really old timey is the the actual towel the cloth towel that used to be in public public bathrooms bar he, he assured me that we could still find them and i find that extremely hard to believe so you would go into a public bathroom and you know how the hand dryer looks now, like that piece of metal yeah. ca- a ca- a canister on the wall. It looked yeah. like that and it had a bar in it and it had a towel that was sewn into a loop. So take a towel. We don't have one, but sew the two ends together. So it's a, it's a loop. Okay. But it's but it's on this, this you can, meaning you just can't get it off. Yeah. So you would, there would be some exposed, right? And you would, and if it was wet, you would just move it. No, yeah, you'd pull. So you dry your hands. That's not real, right? This is real. And then, That's not real. and then the next person coming behind you, right? It's wet and it's been used. So you pull, and it comes back around. You know, the dry part comes around, and you dry your hands on that. But obviously, <laughs> after the first, I'll give four people. I'll say you're going to say four. I'll people? say four. Okay. After the first four people, you're back to the the part where the guy. The first, the first of the four dried his hands. You're now you're here. That's disgusting. I guess the thought was, why is it disgusting? You just washed your hands. Uh, it's still disgusting. Actually, you know they say that is like towels. People have this false presumption that towels are clean because you keep washing yourself with them. Because someone asks, like, why do they? Why do old towel towels smell if it's just your dry what? body? What you're saying that that one. If you use a towel for years, it's dirty? No, if you don't oh. wash it. Of course. What? What? You had to learn that? <laughs> no. But it's like, it was like one of those questions of like, if you only ever use towels on a clean body, why oh, do they get dirty? And right, okay. It was, and it was proven. Yeah, it was proven. Just All right. On it. Well, this existed and I, I remember it. I don't it. believe it. I remember it. <clears throat> That's horrifying. And you know what? It wasn't a bad and texture. Like, no, I don't mean the dirtiness of it. I mean when we're talking about tea towels and hand towels. Uh, it was, it was um Well I'd hope so if it was just like it wasn't you know how um towels have like loops that make it I don't know what that's called. It's like the terry cloth. It's yeah. like they weren't like that. It was more of this kind like like a like a like a dish towel. You know, this kind of like it was flat. There weren't loops. Yeah, okay. Still seems kind of gross to me, but hey, um, they don't exist. Well, definitely wouldn't. wouldn't but exist they did now. exist, and I remember them. And I'm, I'm guessing in post edit you will have put all the photos of the dirty sure towels of the towel. Well, guys, that's it for one word Wednesday. I uh, hope you had a towel. I hope it wasn't a towelable pod- <laughs> podcast. We'll be back tomorrow for uh, walk through Thursday. Um, until then, 
go out, drink some wine. It's National Wine Day. Peace. No. All right. <laughs>